everyone, welcome to my channel and yes, I'm back and I'm back with another brand new banger tutorial and today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop so if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe and if you are looking for this PSD file this is available on my Patreon so with that note, let's dive into the video all right so here we go and we're in photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that press ctrl and n and i'm going for 4 by 5 resolution to 300 column mode to rgb b trade to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and right after that let's drag and drop this texture background on the very bottom and let's press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller just like that maybe let's make it some more smaller yep somewhere around this size and then let's drag and drop this main player image right over here let's keep it maybe somewhere over here press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger just like so and then again let's drag and drop another png let's see where it goes Yep, this one let's drag and drop right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller and then let's add a little rotation to just just like so all right and then let's click on this main player image go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and i'm going to use an effect called cut out let's select this one and let's change uh, the number of levels to five a simplicity to five air fidelity to two and let's keep it like that and let's click and okay let's go on this image go to select let's select by color range and then let's click and add so let's see let's remove some of these parts and let's click on ok and let's create a layer max so this is what we got and let's drag and drop right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it just like that and let's drag and drop another texture and very top and let's keep it all the way to the top Control t let's make it a little smaller and then let's add a rotation too and let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it somewhere over here and let's change the blending mode to screen and this is what we got and let's add a color overlay and uh, let's give a kind of darker color something maybe yep let's give it kind of this color let's click ok and let's add some text and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit yep just like so or maybe some more yep like that and again let's change uh let's add a color overlay on this texture too so let's go over here add a color overlay and let's give a kind of darker color just like that and let's add some text change the color to kind of uh, this color and let's change the font to yeah let's click on this font let's make it a little smaller and let's move it a little 
up and let's alt and drag let's make a copy and let's go over here let's add a stroke and let's see let's add a stroke to two pixel and let's click ok and let's drop down the fill to zero and again let's change the stroke color to kind of similar color but anyway you're gonna change that later so let's keep it like that and let's make a one more copy Control j Control t let's move it like that again Control j Control t let's move it right here and let's select all these text let's keep it inside a group and let's rename it as the text and let's keep this text under this texture and control t let's move it just like that and let's create a rectangle and let's uh, change the fill to none and let's add a stroke of kind of darker color and let's change the pixel to two pixel and control T uh, let's make it a little smaller just like so maybe let's increase the uh, stroke size to maybe around 5 pixel let's see yeah let's keep it like that and for the color let's give kind of darker color similar like that and let's make a copy Control j Control t let's move it right here let's add some text Control t Control J, Control T, okay. let's make this text a little bigger just like so and let's keep all of them inside a group, Control G, let's rename it as text 0 to and let's add a color overlay and let's go for a kind of yep like that color and control t let's move it right around here and maybe let's move this main player image well on this side yep let's keep it somewhere around here now let's create a new layer go to brush and i'm going to use uh, this brush and let's go for kind of similar darker color yep like this and let's add a stroke and before that maybe let's add a little rotation yep just like so and let's add a stroke right around here and let's move this above this layer and let's add some other text let's change the color overlay for this text so go over here add a color overlay I think I'll just go with a kind of darker color and control T let's make it a little smaller keep it like that and let's make a one more copy Control j and let's change the color overlay to kind of white let's click on ok and let's go on very bottom so Control and click this layer to make a selection and let's go back to this copy text layer and let's add a layer max and let's see what we can do let's add a logo so we have a logo right here let's drag and drop this logo right over here 
control T let's make it a little bigger just like so let's make move it a little down let's add a color overlay let's go for kind of similar color yep like that and let's click on OK and let's add some more text on the bottom right around here that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and yes i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye